to pull mm. on billions. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> the show opens with a dominatrix, mm -hmm. who we later learn is is your wife. Not really? Killed that. That's, That's what happens. Uh, killed that. <laughs> <laughs> you mean now? <laughs> 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 but she is... <laughs> yes. She is urinating on you, which I have since learned what? is called a golden shower. Hey, hey! Yes, it yes. is. <laughs> so you read the script and you say, yes, I'm in? I mean, you, you see yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it wasn't that wasn't the only thing the character does like, in the thing. That was, I, it was very interesting because precisely it does end up being yep. my wife. What was interesting about it is that we're not going to make it a sort of freakish thing. Uh -huh. It was just going to be this guy, this is what he does. Uh -huh. This is what they do as a couple. Uh -huh. And so it becomes interesting for the couple, but it's also a great sort of metaphor for the whole show. Sure. The whole dominance and submission thing is a big thing in the whole show. So there's no hesitation when you read moments like that. Not no. for me, no. If somebody's going to pee on me in a movie, yeah. I, I will sign on the You look line. forward to those moments. No, I do. I thought this will be really me. interesting. I mean, I yeah. hadn't done anything like it before, and Maggie hadn't done mm -hmm. anything like it before. It was actually, it was a very interesting part of it. Look, not that we're there, but we did always discuss that the day might come when there was conflict. That was before I was making eight times what you make, and before you started making Chuck Sr. plays like this. Leave him out of it. You know, it's not, it, they're erotic scenes. They're not sort of sex scenes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't mm -hmm. had to do a whole lot of those. Those are harder. This is, you know, it's 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 unusual, mm -hmm. you know? What was and, more disturbing was the cigarette burn first, yeah. and then the urination. And then the like, oh! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, that's mild, I mean, for what those people actually do. Y yes. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've obviously, you've, you've, played real characters yeah. before. I mean, is it to you, is, is there pressure that comes with that or is it actually like it allows you to find a connect to that character? Yeah, sure, it can be really freeing. I mean, I li I've played some historical characters John Adams, you know, that are long dead, mm -hmm. so we have no idea what they really sound yep. like and stuff. So, you know, you have a certain amount of it's kind of really circumscribed, but then a lot of it you have a lot of freedom. And in some ways, that kind of confinement of like, I got to look like this and talk like this frees you up in a funny way, too. Mm. So it's, it's interesting. Mm. Um, but I also love the idea of inhabiting a real person, a historical character. There's a, it's an exciting kind of story to step into sure. and stuff like that. So I just love doing stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, I love David McCullough knows what he probably looks and uh -huh. sounds like. <laughs> yeah. It was really fun to invent all of that. Like, what did these people sound like? And sure. we had to make all that up. We made up accents and stuff. I mean, it was really fascinating. Huh. <laughs> so that kind of research stuff is really fun. Yeah, and then you actually and there's do too much of it. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's like, at a certain point, you have to stop because you can't just play the guy. Mm -hmm. You have to then create and pretend and make it up, too. So. Sure. So if we had your agents sitting around this table and I asked them about you know, how you react when they present you with, with projects, what would they say? I think my agent would say they'd never know how I'm going to react because huh. I never know how I'm going to react. Part of what I enjoy about this is not knowing what's going to happen yeah. to me next uh -huh. and what I'm going to yeah. get next or what's going to suddenly mm. be interesting to me. What are projects you know? that have come your way that you've been not sort of thinking that this would be something they'd want you for and then you've been delighted and, and done it? Oh, geez, I don't know. So many things. I don't know. I did a movie called The Illusionist, which uh -huh. is a small little movie. And I remember getting that and thinking, nobody's ever wanted me to play a German police detective detective before. Is this isn't like, a little movie. It's a wonderful movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. That's what I was thinking. No, but I remember thinking like, wow, I, I, mm -hmm. nobody's ever want me. And I, and I love doing that thing because yeah, I have no man. idea I'm going to be running around with a hat and a pipe and like a cape <laughs> and shit and jumping on a train and stuff. I was like, this is fantastic. <laughs> I just didn't ever see that coming. Uh -huh. you know? And it's so that's wonderful. That's a big part of it to me. Sure. Is this enjoyment of... I have no idea really what's going to happen to me. If I'm lucky to exist in a place where I don't know, if that yeah. answers your question, they wouldn't yeah. know. They They'll would always know. be surprised. And sometimes I'll be like, why the fuck do you want to do that? Uh -huh. You know, I'll be like, because I want to do a thing where I have a bird and I uh -huh. play with a bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, the industry often likes to sort of lock people into certain lanes. Were there points earlier in your career, what were the types of roles that you sort of kept getting approached for and you sort of tired of? And it sounds like you have an answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> I played a lot of guys sitting in vans with headsets on watching. It's a real, real thing. <laughs> I did a lot of this like, 
We lost him. This guy, get out of there, Mike. Mike, get yeah. out of there. My God, he can't hear me. I had to do a lot of that guy. A lot of that guy. Yeah. Lacey Rose. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos from The Hollywood Reporter. And don't forget to comment below. This guy, get out of there, Mike. Mike, get yeah. out of there. How about sense. that Coke? <laughs> <laughs>